Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be a tutorial on 3 advanced ways you can hook swing with General Grievous in Battlefield 2. This video is aimed at more advanced players that are looking for something flashy they can do with this interesting hero. Since this video is aimed at high level players, I am going to be mentioning mechanics such as money hopping, hook swinging or lunging, and if you don't know how to do those things don't worry, I'll have brief tutorials throughout the video, but if you still don't know how, I'd recommend learning them through the individual tutorials which will be in the description. Our first technique is to chain some bunny hops after a lunge. It's pretty consistent because if you look to the side then you'll get in a good position to do the bunny hops that will go through block and you can keep chaining them together. You can skip this with the timestamps if you already know how to lunge and bunny hop, but if you don't then what you need to do is be decently close to your enemy and then dodge away from them while pressing the swing button while in the dodge animation. At the end of the dodge you'll lunge onto your enemy. There's plenty of different appliances for this mechanic, but we're only going to be looking at this simple one for this part of the video. To bunny hop, you need to jump in a very quick succession. It's even faster if you hold block because it skips the animation that you do when you hit the ground. So after you've got that consistent, then you just have to add the swing at the peak of each jump. Once you get into the rhythm, it's actually pretty easy, even if it can look complicated. Back to the technique, this move won't work if you get the full lunge animation, which is the one where he swings with both his sabers. Now, this will happen if you're more than a dodge's length away from your opponent when you go for the lunge. However, if you move close to your enemy before lunging, you'll notice that you get his ordinary swing animation, which is just the one swing. This is what we want because it leaves you closer to your enemy, and if you look to the side when you do it, then it will leave you slightly behind them, which is perfect for what we're trying to do. We can see that after I lunge, I'm left in this position here, which is perfect if I want to jump attack or swing through this block. Although for this example, I'm going to jump attack a couple of times, because then I can keep chaining them into each other and get lots of damage. You'll notice if you try to do this with the longer swing animation, then this won't work since even if you could jump after the swing animation, you'd be in front of your enemy and the jump attacks wouldn't hit them. This move is great against unsuspecting enemies because you can get close to them really quickly and then you can deal a bunch of damage. Grievous is great at dealing lots of damage in a short amount of time and being able to chain this movement with a lunge straight into the attack is very powerful. So our next technique is actually fairly simple and it involves unrelenting advance. What you want to do is use the ability until you're up against their block and then cancel it and run straight at them and chain it into the jump attack. It can be pretty tricky at first but once you get it down it becomes pretty easy. Now this move is great because people tend to act kind of weird when they see unrelenting advance. Some people just turn off their lightsabers and others will just go for an attack but you can take advantage of this and then get some quick damage in when they're not sure what to do. It can be a good strategy with Grievous to use unrelenting advance before you go for some kind of attack to throw your enemies off, just make sure not to be too repetitive with it otherwise a good enemy will start to take notice of that and be prepared for your attack. For our last hook swing method we have what I like to call Grievous' extended jump attack. Now Grievous has a really weird jump but if you hold the jump button for the perfect amount of time you can get this jump that's slightly longer than the short jump but slightly shorter than the long jump if that makes sense. If you swing at the peak of this jump, you can actually hit your opponent. It looks like the jump attack's finished, but you still deal damage. Now, by itself, this move doesn't have many appliances, but it can be useful to chain after a jump attack, because if you say do one bunny hop, or even two or three, and then you do this move afterwards, it can be hard for them to avoid. As you can see here, I do one jump attack, and then I swing in the air, and even though I'm up high, it still hits my enemy. One thing that is great about this move is that it gives you more time in the air, so say if you were going for a prediction or something, you can position yourself with the jump attack to where you think your enemy is going to go. And that is 3 advanced ways to hook swing with General Grievous. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Battlefront 2 content. And with that being said, I'll see you out on the battlefront.